elevating your mindset upwards rather than unconsciously letting it spiral down, crash and burn and feel really crappy and stressful. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk all about an awesome mindset hack I've been experimenting a little bit with lately. Essentially, this hack is learning to ask myself helpful questions and recognize when I'm asking myself very unhelpful questions too. So by changing your mindset, you can really give yourself positive, motivated thinking, which will really pay off when you're busy trying to run your business. Specifically today, we'll cover why asking yourself better questions is so freaking helpful. We're going to cover examples of helpful versus unhelpful questions, and we're going to cover how to know when you're asking yourself the right questions. When I interrupt my own crappy thoughts and start asking myself better questions, it helps increase my positivity, my productivity, and increase my creative problem solving. So this is definitely a tool you're going to want to have in your belt when you feel anxious, stressed, or stuck. Oh, and hey, for those of you who I haven't met before, I'm Sarah Deshaw, blogger and online educator for entrepreneurs over at saradeshaw.com, where I love to chat about things like content creation, marketing, mindset, lifestyle design, and all of the goodness surrounding modern entrepreneurship. One of my favorite places to hang out online is Instagram, so be sure to find me over there. Okay, now let's dig into this mindset hack. There's one thing absolutely every single one of us has in common when it comes to what's going on up here. We all constantly ask ourselves questions. If this is hitting you kind of like, what the heck? No, I don't. Just consider a typical day. While you might feel like you spend a majority of your day taking action, what you're actually doing is taking action in response to a question you have asked yourself. For example, if you're heading to a coffee shop before work for the day, you might subconsciously or even consciously ask yourself, should I take the main road or the back way to the coffee shop? Then you'll base the route that you take off of the answer you give yourself. And then when you get to the coffee shop, you might ask yourself, what do I feel like ordering today? And order based off your answer. Then while you're waiting for your order, you might ask yourself, what project is the priority for today? And then focus your attention there. We spend a whole lot of time, energy, and brain power during the day asking ourselves questions. And pretty much everything we end up doing is a result of the questions we ask and then answer for ourselves. What I've noticed in my own experience is that depending on the type of question we ask, we might feel positive and productive, but we could also make ourselves feel anxious, stressed, or unworthy. So that's no good. Something you need to know about your brain is it's wired to answer the questions you ask it. So I'm going to repeat that statement again, because I really want you to take it in. Your brain is wired to answer the questions you ask it. Because your brain is wired to answer the questions you ask it, the answers you get are only as quality as the questions you ask yourself. Because of this, recognizing when you're asking yourself an unhelpful question and then pivoting to ask yourself a better, more helpful question is instrumental in elevating your mindset upwards rather than unconsciously letting it spiral down, crash and burn and feel really crappy and stressful. When I say unhelpful questions, I mean questions like, why is it taking so long for me to reach my goals? Why do I feel so bad? Why did this happen to me? <laughs> Those felt bad to even say. I could literally feel it all up in here. I don't know if you could feel it, but ugh, I don't even like asking those kinds of questions. So instead of those less than ideal questions, instead you might try asking yourself something like, what can I focus on completing that would make me feel like I'm making progress on reaching this goal? What can I do to feel better? What did I learn from this? These kinds of questions will literally offer your brain new pathways of thought. So Maybe you could even feel a difference in your body with these questions compared to the last ones. I know I definitely did. With all of this in mind, when you start to feel stressed or hard on yourself or stuck, keep in mind you, it may not be your self-talk that's the actual problem. 
It might be what comes before that. <laughs> it's the question you're asking yourself that brings out the answers that are far from helpful. I would love if you guys would leave me some feedback on this. It's a bit of a different way to think about negative self-talk. So leave a comment below to let me know what you think. Also, I do want to mention here that this is not meant to be a mindset cure-all. It's really important for us to all figure out why we might be asking ourselves our own particular brand of unhelpful questions <laughs> rather than just pivot the question, stuff it, and move on. So please don't mishear me on that. This is a strategy assuming that you're already doing some self-discovery work. Before I close this video, I wanna quickly cover how to know if you're asking yourself a helpful question. So here are a few ways to know. You'll feel empowered by the question. This isn't to say that you won't feel challenged, but if you do, it will be a healthy, productive kind of challenge. And a helpful question is solution focused, actionable, and specific enough to spark creativity and new ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll remember this strategy the next time you could use it. And if you want in on all of the free resources I have for entrepreneurs, you can sign up for my email newsletter. Once you sign up, you'll get instant access to my free resources library, which has a bunch of awesome downloads and links that I don't share anywhere else. So if you wanna join my email newsletter and get all those free resources, head to saradashawcom slash free dash resources. I'll put a link to that in the area below this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to keep up with the videos I create on how to improve your brand and grow your business, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking over here on this circle. And you can just click it and then click the subscribe, subscribe button. I would appreciate it very, very much. And I hope to see you for my next video. But until then, you can click on one of these two videos over here to keep watching the videos I've already created. I hope you have a really, really great week. And I hope to see you again very soon. All right, bye.